What's up guys, my name is Ace, and Season 5 is coming tomorrow for Modern Warfare, and we just recently got a roadmap for what to expect, not only right up front when the season launches tomorrow, but also some of what we can expect to see throughout the rest of the season as well. So today, let's just go through this roadmap. A lot of this stuff was covered in yesterday's video where I went over the trailer for Season 5, because obviously the trailer showed off a lot of the things that we're going to be seeing, but there is a good bunch of new information here as well. So let's start it off with the launch week. So this is the stuff we can expect to see at least within a week. Most of this will be coming tomorrow, though, with the update. But we do have a new ground war map coming, which is going to take place in the International Airport of Verdansk, which is part of the Warzone map. And just like I said in yesterday's video, I'm a little bit skeptical about how this is going to play out. We'll have to wait and see on that one. But yeah, we can not expect to see that. Then when it comes to a gunfight map, we have one called Livestock, which takes place in the farm area. This one's in a barn as well as a little bit outside of a barn. It's going to be a very small map since it's a gunfight one. Then after that, we have Petrov Oil Rig, which I actually think this is a brand new map. I was a little skeptical yesterday thinking that this may have been a remade version of, I believe it was called Offshore from Modern Warfare 3. As far as I can tell, though, this is actually a brand new, unique map. Then another 6v6 map that's going to be coming is Sildal Harbor, and it turns out this is actually a remake from the original Call of Duty, which I didn't play multiplayer back in those days. I didn't start playing multiplayer COD until COD 4, so I didn't catch that at first. But yeah, this is going to be a remade map that a huge portion of the community probably has never seen before. And that's it for the maps that we can expect to see right up front with the launch of the season. As for the Warzone map updates, obviously the stadium is opening up, which is pretty cool. Then we have a train that's going to be added that'll be cruising around in that loop on the western part of the map. After that, the train station interior is going to be opened up and actually a playable area because as of right now, only parts of the train station are playable and it's kind of like a little bit of a dead area, but now it's going to be opened up with the start of the season. And then finally, the exterior ascenders that I mentioned in yesterday's video. These ones allow you to grapple up to high locations really quickly, and they are in static locations. So we know there's going to be one on the tallest building of downtown. We saw this one in the trailer. Also, up to one of the Gulag Towers is going to be at least one of those. Then we got some new images from the Activision blog, and this one shows one on the side of, I believe it's the E-Domination building in Tavoris District, so on the ground war map in that area. And also in yesterday's video with the trailer, I did miss one section where there's also going to be some of these, it looks like, going to the top of the stadium. And I would expect to see these in even more locations around the map, and I'm really looking forward to that. Now, as for the new operator, the one operator we'll be getting with tomorrow's update, this is Lurch, who is apparently from Real World Tactical. I'm not too familiar with that, but yes, that's where Lurch is coming from, and we can expect to see that tomorrow. Then a new game mode as well, which is going to be coming at some point within the next week. This is Search and Destroy Double Down. And there was a little bit of an explanation for this one. This is basically just Search and Destroy, but instead of 6v6, it's going to be 12v12, which sounds a little bit chaotic for Search and Destroy. I think there's going to be some very, very lopsided matches with this one, but there's also going to be some pretty cool gameplays I'm sure some YouTubers are going to be getting in the mode like this. Personally, I'll probably give it a shot, but I don't think it's something I'm going to enjoy all that much. Then the new weapons, which we've already known about for a long time. The AN-94, as well as the ISO, which is based off of the BNT APC-9. Those are going to be coming as the Battle Pass weapons, so we will have access to those tomorrow. And then also, something I'm extremely excited for... There's going to be some Warzone updates, and the one big thing here is a new mode called Mini Royale. And they explain this a little bit in their blog post... And from the sounds of it, it's designed to just simulate like the last part of a match. So you'll probably drop into an already shrunken circle on the map, kind of like if you do the practice game against bots. And then it's just a quick, short version of Battle Royale. It doesn't have the full player count as well, I should mention. And I think this is awesome. This is going to be great practice for people that just want to practice their end game situations. And also, I think a lot of Call of Duty players, they'll just prefer this over the standard Battle Royale because they don't want to spend 20 minutes just getting ready for the end game. They just want to play that end game out right away. So I know for me, I am really, really looking forward to playing this. I hope it does move to different locations around the map, but I'm not 100% sure on that at this point. Also, there is a mention in this Warzone section of Juggernaut Drops. Which concerned me a little bit. It almost sounds like this is not a different game mode, but this is something that could potentially drop in a regular Battle Royale game. And if that's the case, I really don't like the sounds of that. I think Juggernaut Royale as its own mode, that's awesome, that's cool. You hop into that mode and you sign up for that. 
But in a regular game of Warzone, I feel like that's something that could alter the outcome of a game a little bit too much, considering it may just be a luck-based thing where one of these just drops on the map randomly. But who knows, maybe I'm just completely wrong on what I think that is going to be, and it'll be something else entirely. But that one does have me a little bit concerned. On top of this, we're also going to have Mastery Challenges, and this is under the Warzone section, so perhaps it's going to be Mastery Challenges that are specific to Warzone. That could be pretty interesting. And yeah, that's pretty much everything we see here that we can expect throughout this next week of launch for Season 5. However, we also have the In-Season section to cover, and within this, we've got some new multiplayer modes that'll be coming. The first one is Bare Bones, and with this one, it's going to be a rotation of Team Deathmatch, Domination, Headquarters, Hardpoint, and Kill Confirmed. And the big difference with this one is there are no kill streaks, no field upgrades, and no perks at all. So yeah, it's going to be a super bare bones mode. I don't know how popular this is going to be. That doesn't really appeal to me at all, especially no field upgrades. I feel like it's just going to be Sound Horror City without any option of dead silence. But who knows, maybe that will appeal to some players out there. Just definitely not for me. Additionally with this, it looks like we're finally going to be seeing a different type of game mode on the Ground War maps, and this is Ground War Reinforce. So I don't know how that's going to end up playing out, but I'm just really excited that they're finally trying something new on the Ground War maps. I feel like Ground War got stale, for me at least, a really long time ago, just because it's the same maps and the same one mode. And I'm looking forward to seeing things mixed up a little bit there. Now, as for the next thing, this is a mid-season event, and with that came this image here. And what I suspect this is going to be is just COD Champs. It's going to be some kind of integration with the CDL Championship that's going to be happening apparently throughout the middle of this season. And they're probably going to integrate that somehow into the game. Maybe they're going to try like a live event like how Fortnite does it where you can view COD Champs from in the stadium, for instance. I'm not too sure on that one. But if I had to guess, that mid-season event they're talking about is just going to integrate with COD Champs. Then later in the season, we can also expect to see another new operator, which we saw several times in the trailer and the promotional images. This one's name is Velican, and this one looks really cool. I think a lot of people are looking forward to that. Then moving on to the second level here in the in-season section, we have Warzone updates coming throughout the season, and one of the modes that's going to be coming is called Kingslayer, which sounds like that could be pretty interesting. A different way to play that's not just Battle Royale from the sounds of it. Also, there's new weapons that are going to be coming mid-season, one of which is a melee weapon, or a pair of melee weapons, the Dual Kadachis, which have been leaked a long time ago, so we've known those are going to be coming at some point. Then, I'm still working on trying to figure out what this classified gun is here. I can't quite put my finger on what this is, and they've got it kind of blocked off really well, so you can't exactly see what it is. It looks to be some form of an LMG or perhaps an assault rifle with just a weird magazine of some sort. I'm not too sure though, so maybe you guys can let me know in the comments down below if you at least think you know what this gun might be. Because I'm honestly stumped at this point. Even going off of the leaks that we've had in the past, this doesn't seem to line up with any of the leaked weapons we already know about. So yeah, looks like something pretty interesting coming mid-season. And with that, that's pretty much it. That wraps it up for the Season 5 roadmap. It looks like it's going to be a pretty promising season. For me, the big highlight here is that new Mini Royale in the Battle Royale experience. I am really, really looking forward to playing that. I think out of all of this, that is the number one thing I'm looking forward to. But of course, I'd like to know in the comment section below, what are you looking forward to most in Season 5 based on what we've seen now with the roadmap? Just let me know those thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.